Right guys, this is all about washing vegetables. One vegetable you really have to wash quite carefully is spinach. Even if it comes in a bag, you know, even if it says it's already been washed, you're always wise to wash it again because you never know what's been sprayed on it, you never know what's been living on it, or you know who's washed it before, who knows. They might have done a good job, they might not. So it's always a good idea to wash it. And uh, to wash it, you use a sink full of really cold water. So, Charlotte, do you want to, do you want to do this with me? I've got a sink full of really cold water here, and all you do is tip the spinach in. There we go. So now you just give it a good wash around with your hands. It's really important that there's lots of water in the sink so that any, any bits of dirt or whatever can just fall and sink right to the bottom. And then you can just scoop the leaves off the top once you're sure they're clean. Sometimes you, you might want to do it, if the spinach is really dirty, change the water a couple of times and make sure every last bit is off. This looks quite clean, so probably just one wash will be enough. Right, so you need a bowl and a colander. Set the colander over a bowl. And then you just lift the spinach out of your hands and let it drain. And any dodgy leaves you see, you might just want to weed those out. Spinach is a delicious vegetable, really fantastic flavour. But when, you, when you're prepping it, you're always going to do so much because it cooks down to nothing when you put it in the pan. And all that spinach there is probably enough for two people when you think it would be enough for about ten, but it's not. Okay, we've got the leaves washed and draining in the colander. The next thing we do is get ourselves a salad spinner. Inside the salad spinner, there's this little plastic cage here, which holds all the leaves, and when they spin around, the water fires off and the leaves end up nice and dry in the middle. So, Sean, do you want to just pop the spinach in? Do just like we've done with the spinach, put the lid on, it should click, that's it. And then you push the button down. And you can go keep pushing it and it might get a little faster. That's it. The faster you go, the more water will come off the leaves. And you can see it all running down the side there. You see it coming out and running down to the bottom where it collects. The more you spin it, the drier it will be, but that's pretty good. I think you're alright. So now Slow it down, press that button there, and that'll slow it. There we go. So you just lift the top off and lift the plastic cage out, and there are all the waters at the bottom there that you don't want. Okay, and there's your spinach ready to use. So you can pull that back in the sink and pop that spinach in one of those bowls there, shall we? And, and that's us ready to go. No, leeks. Do you want to open one of the packs, Roy? And we'll get some, get some leeks for you. Leeks are a really nice vegetable. They grow out, they grow, yeah, cool. They grow right out of the ground like that. But they, get, they come up through the earth and they get really, really muddy. So it's really quite important that you wash leeks properly because you get mud stuck down inside all the layers in there. And you, it's not nice to eat. So how you do it, Okay, right. that's the bottom of the leek. This is the top. So pop the, the bottom down there. Okay, and you want to pop your knife in, not at the bottom, almost at the bottom, like that. And then just cut, hold on to the leek and cut all the way down, like that. Brilliant. So now if you open your leek up, you can see all that dirt inside. You really don't want that to go in your food. We do exactly the same we did with spinach. Just fill up the sink with cold water. This is where you're glad that you didn't cut right through the base of the leek, because that little bit you've left on holds the whole thing together. So now you can pop in the water, shake it around, and when you're happy, you just hold the bottom and shake it dry. Back to our boards. Lay the leek down where it was before. Make sure you bunch all the little leaves together as good as you can. And now we're just going to take a knife and we're just going to cut across. Now the first cut you make is the very end of the leek. And there might be some tattered leaves there, so we can get rid of those ones if you like. Yeah, just get rid of that. Put that in the rubbish. So it's nice fresh leek we're chopping into now. And all you do is cut across. 
You can do it thin, you can do it thick. All depends what dish you're doing and how you like your leaves. If you see any bits of mud that you might have missed, then what you can do is put this chopped leek back in the cold water, give it another wash and another drain in the colander, and then it's ready to go. And there you go, there's your leeks. Prepped, washed, ready to go.